Yeah, the, the question was about um, whether you can sort of approve the motives of a character, uh, the dark thing, Shadow and Bone. Uh, is it easy to understand the motivations? I, th I think it's helpful uh, as an actor when you're playing a character like that to have um, such a convincing uh, and sort of well thought through backstory. There's, the, there's a whole book called The Demon in the Woods about um, the character as a, as a kid which I did an um, audio book of recently, so it's sort of interesting to see him when he's uh, pure, sort of, before, he's, uh, before his kind of agenda has taken over. Um, so I think as an actor it's always useful to understand the motivation of the character in terms of, in terms of, you know, his main motivation is he wants to protect his people, but I think in, in fantasy and in stories throughout history, there's always that fine line crossing over between wanting to protect your own and, you know, ethnic cleansing essentially. So I think, and I think that, you know, he, he's, he's, he's at least very, you know, he, he's a problematic character in a lot of ways when you read it through, but, but he is cast as the villain. And I think like lots of people, he exists in that grey area between, which may, you know, potentially makes him interesting to read about, but, but not, you know, obviously as, a, as an actor playing the role, that's one thing, and as, you know, as Ben, you know, just looking at that character, obviously I can, I can say that his actions are completely uncontrollable in any given situation, but it does mean you can't, like, um, try to have the understanding in, uh, uh, in any particular situation. I think in life, like, that's one of the definitions of love is to, is to be understanding before you judge. Uh, to like, and so uh, I think, you know, as an actor, it's useful to try and understand uh, where people are coming from and, and, and hear them out, which I think is why the character of Alina struggles when she sees that actually some routes are more difficult to take than others. Um, well, I would say the main thing that I do obviously was read the books, um, and uh, you know, I, I wrote a list of about 20 uh, lines that the Darkling says in the three books, and tried to see how many of them I could squeeze into the scripts. Because not very many of my favourite lines were in the scripts originally, and I think I had about 15 lines left after the first season. I was like, I really want to say these lines, even though some of them are quite dark. <laughs> Um, and I think I got all of them into the second season, uh, somewhere along the way, even if they had to change the context a bit. So I think, um, yeah, I just sort of took the, the books as my Bible, basically. Um, and, uh, and then also I had access to Lee Bardugo on the phone, so if ever I was struggling with something, I could just call her and say, you know, why did you write this like this, which is like a perfect resource. But yeah, I did go around pretending to be magical or come up and me or anything like that. Hi. Where are you? Hi. 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 Um, my question is, who is your favourite Marvel character? Who is my favourite Marvel character? Marvel character. Oh, that's good. Um, I was a big fan of Iron Man. Um, I just like I like how like uh, funny and cocky he is. Um, those are those are definitely probably my favourite. Uh, those are probably my favourite of the of the movies. Um, but yeah, when I was a kid, I used to dress up as Batman. I used to DC, so uh, that's that's what I used to dress up as. But yeah, maybe maybe Iron Man. Um, Although my buddy Charlie plays Daredevil, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Is that the whole question? So, so well, Starbucks was my first ever job, and I remember that um, my first scene ever was to walk through this very magical marketplace, and I told some of you this earlier, but um, 
I was walking through before we were shooting, just like looking at everything, like wow, like that. And the director was like, no, get out! I don't need to look at this till we film you. And then, uh, and then they put a camera, and then they just let me walk around looking at stuff. And that's my first scene on film is me walking around going. Wow, look at that dog, that amazing lizard in a pot, look at it, you know. And so he was just like trying to capture my real reaction to it. That was my first ever filming experience. Okay.